Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is September 13th, 2021. All praises to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, because they are worthy to be praised. Today, I want to talk to you about the coming, catching away of the first fruits. Yes, Christ will make a surprise visit or coming, and he will come like a thief, and he will take the first fruits and glorify them. Now, these are the ones that are listed in Revelation chapter 14, and they also called the Philadelphia Church. These are the ones that will go in the first catching away. Now, on August 15th, 2021, Yahushua revealed to me that the child of Revelation chapter 12, verse 5, had been born and had been caught up to heaven. You see, I was shown this vision on four different nights and four different times. The Revelation sign of 2017 did not happen as many thought that it did. And we can even look around and we see that here it is 2021 and nothing has happened according to the, um, the mark of the bees, even though we're getting close, according to uh, the rise of the Antichrist. But brothers and sisters, Yahushua has shown me that we are at that time now. So we can expect Satan to get kicked out of heaven, which he told me that this is exactly what's getting ready to happen. We can expect that the mark of the beast or the Antichrist to come on the scene. All the things that we have been waiting for are getting ready to happen. Brothers and sisters, we have some very difficult and awful times ahead of us because Yahushua has told me that the child is born. We know that soon Satan is going to be kicked out of heaven. We know the Antichrist is going to be on the scene and we also know that the mark of the beast is about to be rolled out. Now, as I spoke in a previous video, Christ is going to make a surprise appearance. He is going to come as a thief and he's going to steal away the first fruits and he's going to transform them and give them glorified bodies. Brothers, when, brothers and sisters, when this happened, not many of the saints will be ready when he comes. Only those who he has chosen will be taken at that time. Only those who are considered the first fruits will be taken. Everybody else will be left to go through tribulation and to be refined because that means that he has found something in them that needs further refinement. Even many of those who have been waiting and making rapture vid videos every day will not make this first cut. Even though they have been waiting, God has determined that they need refinement before they can make it into the kingdom. This is all explained in a video that I made on Julie Webby's message. And that video is in my list. Um, you can search for it. I don't remember the exact name for it, but if you're interested in it, uh, just send me a message. I'll be able to find that for you and uh, point you to it. In summary, her message said that the first fruits have already been told by God who they are. In other words, they know who they are. They know that they are going to be taken. They don't know exactly when he's going to come, but they know that they're going to be taken during the first fruit selection and that everybody else will 
have to remain here for refinement during the tribulation. Now, the first fruits will be taken to heaven, as I said, and they will be given glorified bodies. But most of them will not remain in heaven. They will return to earth in their glorified bodies, and they're going to be the ones to help the believers in Christ who have to go through the tribulation period. See, God has identified them as a standard. So they're going to be helping the others to understand what they need to do in order to be able to please God. These uh, first fruits will have glorified bodies. And so they will be able to fly. They will be able to walk through walls, become invisible. They will be able to perform all kinds of healings and many other supernatural uh, acts, just like Christ did when he was here on earth. Pretty sure they'll be able to walk on water too. Brothers and sisters, during this time, the second exodus will happen. It will happen during the tribulation period. The glorified saints will be the ones along with angels who will help many of uh, our brothers and sisters flee into the wilderness or into places of safety. They will provide nourishment for the people fleeing to the wilderness and in the place of the safety if that's what uh, Yahushua wants them to do. The Revelation 12 woman, which is different from the saints, will be given wings of a great eagle during this time, which means that she has a glorified body and she will be able to fly into the wilderness during this time. All the saints who did not make it as part of the first fruit translation, they will have a chance to go to the wilderness, but they will be led or taken to the wilderness by conventional methods. The first fruit saints and the angels will assist them. Everyone will be, of course, following the instructions of Christ because he's going to be overseeing everything. Brothers and sisters, if you're not, if you, if you have not been told that you are one of the first fruits and you have an opportunity to go to the wilderness, please go. You must go. Otherwise, you will have to die for your faith or take the mark of the beast. In order for you to go to the to wilderness, you have to believe in Christ. You're not going to go to the wilderness if you are believing in Muhammad and, and Buddha and all these other things because God is not going to uh, allow you there. And if you get there, you're going to be purged out because you have to believe in Christ. That is the primary criteria to be able to go to the wilderness. You have to believe in Christ. This is also going to be going on, you know, people fleeing to the wilderness uh, while the mark of the beast is being implemented. And so if you take the mark of the beast, you cannot go to the wilderness. You will not be accepted. You will get purged out. Brothers and sisters, things are getting ready to get really, really bad. Things are ready to kick off. Satan. It's about to be thrown out of heaven. The Antichrist is at the door. The mark of the beast is waiting to be rolled out. And God is getting ready to take his first fruits. Now, the reason that he's taken his first fruits, because again, as I said before, he's going to use them to help uh, brothers and sisters who need further refinement. They're going to be little, almost like little Christ is helping him to, to save the people that are still here. 
uh, the first, um, I want to get ready to the, um, being in the wilderness is not going to be a piece of cake because if you go in there and you're not straight up, you're going to get purged out. God is not going to tolerate it because he's providing a way for you to escape, but he's not going to take, uh, allow any nonsense in there. So when you get ready to go to the, the uh, wilderness, you better be straight up or you will get purged out. Now, by now, brothers and sisters, everyone should know whether they are part of that first fruit group. God would have told you right now. So whether you are, you can expect to go, I mean, to be taken away during the first catching away, and you will be trained and you will be sent back here. But those who, those who have not been told they are, uh, you need to just accept the fact that you are going to go through the tribulation for refinement. You need to tell your family what to expect. These are going to be some difficult times. You need to tell them what to expect and you need to get on your knees with your family. If you are not a believer, you need to find out how to become a believer because again, this is the only way that you want to be saved unless you take the mark of the beast. So brothers and sisters, if you have any questions about that, please uh, feel free to contact me. But we are getting ready to go through some difficult times. And the first fruit catching away, you can call it rapture if you like, catching away is going to occur very shortly. And if you have not been chosen, God would have told you by now, if you are, then you need to be prepared to go through the tribulation. So if you have any question again, please, shalom um, until the next time.